Succinylcholine is a muscle paralytic that is used in anesthesia. In this mnemonic video, we'll cover everything you need to know about succinylcholine so you'll be ready come test day. This greenhouse is the perfect place to grow succulents. You know, the little cactus-looking houseplants? Let these succulents be your memory anchor for this scene about succinylcholine. It's the succinylcholine succulents. Here comes the greenhouse gardener now. Her one job is to grow these little succulents, except they don't look like they're doing so well to me. Upon seeing the ruined succulents, the gardener completely <gasps> froze in fear. You might even say that she is paralyzed in fear. You know, this reminds me of how succinylcholine works, because succinylcholine is a muscle paralytic. This drug is most often used along with anesthesia to prevent the patient from moving during surgery. I thought succulents are supposed to be hard to kill, so what caused these succulents to die? Let's continue to find out. Take a look at the thermometer that shows the temperature in the greenhouse. Greenhouses are known for being warm, but this greenhouse is way too hot, killing all the succulents inside. You can use this bursting thermometer to remind you of malignant hyperthermia. Malignant hyperthermia is one of the most serious adverse effects of succinylcholine, which can be fatal if not immediately treated. As the name suggests, malignant hyperthermia manifests as a dangerously high body temperature, along with rapid shallow breaths, tachycardia, and muscle rigidity. Just remember this bursting thermometer and super hot greenhouse to remember that succinylcholine can cause the side effects of malignant hyperthermia. All right, that's all for this mnemonic. Let's review what we've learned. Succinylcholine is a muscle paralytic drug that is given alongside anesthesia during surgery. Its most dangerous side effect is malignant hyperthermia. I feel bad leaving this gardener in such a sucky situation. You know, because we're talking about succinylcholine. Okay, okay, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and check out our newest lessons. For more resources on this topic, including fact lists and interactive review images, click the image next to the More Here arrow. I'll see you next time.